Welcome to Three Books to Go. I'm Christine and I work at the Cold Lake Public Library and I'm going to be doing a series of videos over the next few weeks where I offer three book recommendations. All of them will be titles that you can access through one or many of our digital platforms with your Cold Lake Public Library card or your Track Pack Library card. And today I wanted to start this series with short things, so short stories or things that are pretty quick to read. Although quite a few of us, not everybody, but quite a few of us have a lot of extra time. And I thought initially, oh, I'm going to get right through that to be read pile. I'm going to read so much. It actually hasn't been that easy to focus on reading, surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly. Um, what I have found over the last couple of weeks anyway, is that something, things that catch my attention or hold my focus are shorter, quicker, fast paced things. So. For this week, I have three things to recommend to you. Let's get started. So before I get to this week's three recommendations, I just wanted to show you how to access all of the e-service platforms that you have available to you through your library card. So if we start at our Cold Lake Public Library webpage, there's this orange box right here, e-services, and then more patron e-resources. And that brings you to a page that shows you all of the ones that you have access to. I'll just point out at this point also that we have right now um, a way to register for a, a free public library card online. So anyone that didn't have a card set up before everything shut down, you do still have the option of registering online right now. So just click on that link and if you run into any issues, let us know and we can still help you out. And so this shows you links to all the different platforms. There's quite a few. Any of the titles that I'm gonna recommend in these videos will be available on one or maybe several of these platforms. And you just need your library card and PIN number to log into them. If you run into any problems or you're not sure how to set them up, there are tutorials right here that show you how to access each of these. And of course, most of them also have apps. So if you go into your device's app store and download the app and log in with your library card and PIN number, that is how you would get access to your account through your device. My first recommendation today is Moccasin Square Gardens by Richard Van Camp. You might recognize the name because Richard has been to Cold Lake and done some programs with the library in the last couple of years, so you might have had a chance to see him and hear his stories in person, which is awesome and I recommend it if you ever get the chance. Moccasin Square Gardens is his most recent short story collection. It is 10 stories. Uh, a lot of them take place in and around either Fort Simmer, which is the fictional version of his hometown, or the factual version, which is Fort Smith in the Northwest Territories. So I'm just gonna read a little bit from the back of the book. These stories are filled with in-laws, outlaws, and common laws. Get, rid of, get ready for illegal wrestling moves, pinky promises, a doctored casino, extraterrestrials or sky people, love, lust, and prayers for peace. While this is Van Camp's most hilarious short story collection, it's also haunted by the lurking presence of the Witago human devouring monsters of legend that have returned due to global warming and the greed of humanity. The stories in Moccasin Square Gardens show that medicine power always comes with a price. And I would say this story collection is a little bit like maybe Stranger Things with a Clicho Dene twist. So definitely lots of unsettling, strange, creepy things, those Vitago War stories, there's two of them in there. There's two of the strongest stories and there are also two of the scariest stories. Um, they're excellent. And there's also lots of stories of, of love and community and relationships and friendships. Um, so it is a great and spooky and lovely short story collection. I wanted to show you the different options you have for accessing this short story collection through our services. So back to the Northern Lights site that I showed you initially, this is where you would go to find all the different platforms. So the first one I'm going to show you is Overdrive and Libby is the name of the app that you use with Overdrive. This is what the site looks like. So once you search for Richard Van Camp, this is what comes up. So there's more than just that one short story collection, but that's the one that I'm starting my recommendation with. And you would just click on it and there you go, you could borrow it right away. It is also available in Cloud Library.
and I just wanted to show you that he does have some titles available in some of our other platforms. So this one is Read Alberta, and there's a few of his comic books as well as a couple of his other short story collections. And in Hoopla you have another option for reading the ebook version of Moccasin Square Gardens, but you also have all of his board books and a couple of the graphic novels are available through um, Hoopla as well. The second book that I'm going to recommend today is Every Heart a Doorway by Seanan McGuire. So a little bit like some of the stories in Moccasin Square Gardens, this one explores some dark themes and has some some scary monsters and, and a little bit of violence, but it's rooted in folk tales and fairy tales and a lot of the stories that we're all very familiar with, like Alice in Wonderland or Chronicles of Narnia. It takes that premise of children finding doorways to other worlds, and then it asks the question, what happens when they come back to their home world? And it also asks the question, which world is actually their home world? Do they belong where they came from, or do they belong maybe to that magic place that they found? Um, so it's the first one in a series, and the reason I picked it for a part of this set of stories is because it's it's quite short. The books in this series are all under 200 pages, so they're very quick reads, but they pack quite a punch in their less than 200 pages. And if you like fairy tales or um, fairy tales with a twist adapted for adults, this will be perfect for you. Once again, I was just going to quickly show you guys where you can access that book through our online services. So it is available in Overdrive, um, both audiobook and ebook, which is lovely. Audiobooks are a wonderful option. I'm a huge fan of audiobooks. I think the rise of podcasts has meant that audiobooks have gotten a lot of attention lately too. And so you can see that you can access this book either way. And you can see that the other books in the series are also available there. And it, a couple of them are available as ebooks in Cloud Library. And in Hoopla, you have the first four books in the series are all available as audiobooks. And one of the benefits of Hoopla is that it is always available. So there's no wait lists, there's, there's no individual copies. All of the items in Hoopla are always available. The only limit is how many you can borrow in a month. So you can borrow two items from Hoopla a month with your Cold Lake Public Library card. My third and final recommendation for today is going to be The Book of Delights by Ross Gay. So it does have some things in common with the first two books in that it is a book that focuses on, on the detail, especially the extraordinarily beautiful details of the world around us. The other two books definitely do that as well. And this one, in the same way but not to the same extent, also acknowledges the, the darkness, the difficulties, the, the challenging pieces of life around us. And the way that this book is quite different is that this is nonfiction. This is a book of essays. So the author Ross Gay took on a project where he was going to write in a journal every day for a year and focus on things around the world that, that delighted him, that brought him joy, or that surprised him. Um, I'm just going to read a couple of bits from the, from the inside flap. The first nonfiction book from award-winning poet Ross Gay is a record of the small joys we often overlook in our busy lives. Among Gay's funny, poetic, philosophical delights are a friend's unabashed use of air quotes, cradling a tomato seedling aboard an airplane, and the silent nod of acknowledgement between the only two Black people in a room. More than anything else, though, Gay celebrates the beauty of the natural world, his garden, the flowers peeking out in the sidewalk, the hypnotic movements of a praying mantis. So I thought this was a good pick for this week because when it's short, it's it's less than 300 pages and the seg segments or essays are all really quite short as well. So you can pick it up and put it down and not have to sit and stay focused for long periods of time. But also because um, we could all use a little reminder of the beauty of the natural world where we're all stuck inside and just reminders of beauty and delight in general. Um, but I find sometimes there are things that are just too saccharine or too happy and they don't acknowledge the difficulty, this book is not like that. This book does acknowledge the darker, more difficult things, and yet it still chooses to focus on the like everyday magic in the world around us. And 
And finally, I just wanted to show you where you can access Ross Gay's collection in our collection. So Hoopla has the ebook with, this is the cover that I have and recognize. So you can borrow that right away in Hoopla to read it on your e-reader. Or if you'd like to hear the audiobook, we also have it in RB Digital as an audio with, with a different cover, but it is the same book. And actually Ross narrates it himself, which is really lovely to have the author read the book to you. So those are my first three recommendations for three books to go. All available to borrow with your track pack or Cold Lake Public Library card through our online services. Um, and I'll just make a note, you can tell this is not the one that I mentioned, but that's because the one I mentioned is book one in the series and I'm just at book five. That's the one I happen to have at home right now. Um, so I hope those are helpful. They were all engaging and things that kept my attention, even though it's a time when there's a lot that's asking for our attention and making it really hard to focus and curl up with a good book the way we might have hoped to do when we found out we were going to be spending some time at home. Let us know in the comments if those are um, books that you're interested in reading or if you've already read them and what you thought about them. And if you have some suggestions, things that you think other people might be interested in too, things that were quick or, or really engaging books that helped you get past maybe reading slums you've had in the past, or if right now you're also finding it hard to read and stuff that kept your attention anyway. And of course, if you have suggestions or requests for book recommendations in the future, we'd love to hear from you. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next week.